I hope this isn't that Thresher Mall. <laughs> oh gosh. Are we ready for this? Pressure mall. Hey Hill. Hill here. Game. And welcome back to more of the original Mass Effect. This is Hill, and we are here with Commander Sindarius Shepard on board the Normandy. In our last episode, we met the crew, we had lengthy conversations. Got to know a little bit about them and their backstories. And now it's time for some space exploration. Alright, so we are going right up here to the galaxy map. And let us begin. Alright, we are in orbit around the planet Therum where we rescued Liara. Now it's time for us, if I can get these buttons right... Time for us to zoom out, not exit. And I think there was one other planet here that we did not, or did we look at Phaistos? Let's just go there quickly. Okay, there's nothing here. All right, zooming out. All right, so that is the Kenosis system. Let's head over here to Sparta. We might as well explore the Artemis Tau system while we're here. I don't know... Don't remember what's in these other systems, so we're message just... Message coming in. Uh-oh. A message. Pass it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the diplomat's lounge on the Presidium. You know, it would have been nice if she talked to me when I was standing in front of her in the diplomat's lounge in the Presidium in one of our earlier episodes, but that's okay. Ignore me. All right, we are here at... Oh, this is... These these names are going to be challenging. Trem... Tremannery? Oh. Okay, there's nothing here. And again, I'm not going to read the, the text for the planet entries. Feel free to pause the video if you're um, interested in this. Oh no, I keep hitting the wrong button. Okay. Let's head here to Altea. Dolus. Commander, I'm picking up a signal oh, no. from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. All right, Dolus. Well, I am going to read this since we need to land. It is a terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Dolus's surface is covered by wide deserts of silicate sand, with only a few areas of in engine. Igneous, igneous rock people, igneous people, igneous rock highlands to break the abrasive dust-choked wind. Idolus's orbit is congested with debris thrown inward by the gravity of the gas giant, oh my goodness, Ontomalaka. <laughs> Okay, due to a high rate of meteor impacts, exploration is highly dangerous. All right, we're going. We cannot ignore a distress beacon. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to bring my normal crew here. Hmm. I'm not sure about Ashley, because she, she goes down and... I think we'll, 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 we'll bring the, the guys this time. I'm saving Rex for a little bit later, but okay, we will take Garrus 
and Caden. Successfully, oh, successfully landed. Wow, look at those meteors. I suppose I need to look at the map. Is there a map? Yes, map. Um, can I set destination? Yes. All right, let's. on in this direction. Yeah, I don't remember from previous playthroughs what is on this planet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hope this isn't that Thresher Maul. <laughs> oh, gosh. Are we ready for this? Pressure mall. Already almost damaged. Got it though. Okay. All right, let's get out. Well, let me see. Can we do a repair? Yes, here we go. Okay, that wasn't as, as difficult as I thought it might be. Alliance soldiers. Looks like they were lured here by the distress beacon. These are Admiral Kahoku's men. You can tell them what happened here. Alright, so that's it. Just that one discovery. So we have found what Admiral Kohoku wanted us to take a look at. These men were lured here into the lair of a Thresher Mall. Alright, let's get into the vehicle. Alright, it looks like there were some other things on this planet. Let's take a look before we go. Let's also save, just in case. One thing you may have noticed, I might as well tell tell you guys now. Um, I have modded the game. Yes, even more so than just adding textures. Um, I have modded the Mako so that it now gives me double um, experience whenever I kill something. And the reason I've done this, not to cheat or anything, even though you might just consider it a cheat, but... The level cap in this game is 60. 
and there is no way it is impossible not not virtually not slightly but it is totally impossible to ever reach level 60 in one single playthrough so in the interest of playing the trilogy I have modified the Mako so that it is going to give me double experience for everything that I kill so that I can level up 260 in one playthrough so that's why we're doing this in the interest of time because I mean it's hard it's it's incredible that I would actually play this character you know a character twice just to get to level 60 but you know fortunately and this this is only on the PC that you can do this it involves um, editing an, an INI file and if anyone is interested in how to do this um, you know leave me a comment and I will certainly um, leave instructions on how you can edit the Mako on PC now only only on PC um, how you can edit the Mako to give you double experience so you don't have to use that strategy because I, I don't know if some of you may or may not know about the Mako um, you actually get less experience when you kill um, enemies in the Mako and what a lot of people do if you've seen YouTube videos um, they will get out of the Mako after they've weakened you know the opponent to you know do the kill by hand or whatever however you want to say it but they do the kill themselves with their guns and their powers so that they get more experience because um, I, I don't know I think it's like one fourth experience that you would normally get using the Mako but um, I have doubled the experience now so doubled normal experience so that hopefully and I might have to increase it I don't know hopefully we'll get to level 60 in a single playthrough uh-oh, what is this? A mummified Solarian? Alright, let's recover him. Oh, no, we got a, a puzzle. Oh, a puzzle for a Solarian. Okay. Anyhow. <laughs> an IT that eh, An ID tag recovered. You found Captain Milan's identification tag. How it ended up here is impossible to know for sure. All right. Ooh, we got a lot of experience on that. Now, that was natural experience. There's nothing augmented there. Okay, let's uh, get into the vehicle. All right, let me bring up the map again. Was there anything else? There's this. I think this is uh, oh, some debris. All right, well, let's check it out while we're here. But I, I um, saw an interesting video on this Mako because, you know, people, most people hated the Mako because it was so hard to control and drive on these planets and stuff. And, you know, for the most part, that's true. But someone had an interesting observation, which I, I kind of agree with. It's not so much the Mako that's the problem but the terrain that you're driving on that's what makes it so hard to control because of all these mountains and hills and valleys it is very hard to control this vehicle but you know the the vehicle is isn't really that bad per se okay look at this but yeah, I thought that was extremely interesting. Observation. All right, a crashed probe. Okay, is this another puzzle? Electronics too luck. Come on now. Who's here? Both of you guys have electronics. Come on. Oh, I got two more points. Well, we'll worry about me later. Oh, look at you. Um. Kaden, all these points. Oh, and you don't have electronics at all. Okay, but Kaden does. Let's go ahead and give him electronics. I don't know if I want to get... Is this enough? I don't want to give it all away yet on, on electronics. Okay, here we go. 
What? It wants me to buy... After all that. Okay, we'll, we'll take whatever this is. All right, hammerhead rounds three, armor plating three, and combat sensor three. We'll take it all. Okay, got 36 experience for that. Okay. We'll finish um, leveling up our characters at another point. Because I think we are done here on this planet. Okay, let's um, bring up the map. And this is another thing that took me forever to figure out. How to get back to the Normandy. <laughs> but it's here in the map view. And if you look in the bottom... Uh, of the screen there. Return to Normandy is the X button uh, if you're using a 360 controller or I'm sure that uh, you know it'll give you whatever corresponding key it is on the keyboard if you're on the PC or using keyboard and mouse. Alright we're going back to the Normandy pressing X. Alright well we've gotten some experience here and furthered one of the side quests along, finding those men that had been lured into a trap. Let's see what else there is to discover in this system. And let me just do a save. It's another tip. Save, save, save. Because you never know what might happen. Anything from computer issues? You know, you just never know. Alright. Anta... Malka. Oh, we can survey this planet. Gas deposit. All right, we found a concentration of hydrogen. And look at all that experience. Great. And I keep still keep hitting the wrong buttons. I shouldn't be coming back to this view. All right, zoom out. So we were at whatever. Let's go to Al Sages. Oh, another survey. Rare element surveyed. Scans from orbit have detected a small deposit of plutonium. Okay, take that. Wait, unknown. Let's scan it. An asteroid cluster. Let's head towards it. A collection of small... Silos... <laughs> Sil... Oh my goodness. Silaceous? Silicious? Asteroids? I know I, I didn't pronounce it right, people. I'm sorry. Loosely bound together by gravity. Surveying. A Prothean data disk has been recovered. While scanning the asteroid field in the Sparta system, you found signs of habitation. A recon team was sent to investigate one of the larger asteroids. The rock had a small functioning biodome, but no sign of anyone still living there. There was, however, a data console with an intact Prothean data disk inside. Thank you. We'll take that. Did we go to this planet? And that's another thing. You know, I, I anyway, often forget what, which planets I've already um, gone to in these systems. All right, I think we already went to Altea. Believe we are done here. Okay, let's zoom out again. So that was the Sparta system. So we've been to Canoso, Sparta, Mesodon. And I'm not even sure that I should be doing this because I may be missing out on some missions. Uh, let's travel to... Uh-oh. Shargila? <laughs> Has a very dense atmosphere and ammonia and oxygen. Of ammonia and oxygen. Its tempered surface is mainly composed of alumina with deposits of sulfur, common buoys, calm buoys, wow, in the system have recently logged a number of unregistered vessels operating nearby. This is interesting. This Sargila has an extensive silicon-based oxygen 
breathing ecology. Heavily populated areas are covered with fine silica, silicon dioxide dust, and the, res the respiratory byproduct of the world's higher animal forms, high-speed surface winds, often laden with abrasive silica dust, presents a hazard in areas where the wind deposits a great deal of silica footing can be treacherous. EVAs are discouraged. All right, let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and try Sargila. Okay, um, we're going to take the same squad. So I do need to um, level them up. But I do want to get some of these side missions out of the way using this Mako technique of uh, getting extra experience so that I will be, you know, better prepared for my next uh, main quest. Alright, what's on this map? I've got an anomaly, a stronghold. Alright, let's we'll first go over here to the debris. Since that looks like it's closest to us. Okay. I guess we're going to try to go around the mountain. But yeah, it's, it's these terrains on, on the, these planets that make it really hard to drive this Mako. See the deposit yet? It must be on the other side of this outcropping. All right, here we go. Got it. All right, so we have a hazard level going on here, so we can't stay out here long. Do I have enough uh, Omni Gel? It looks like I might. All right, radioactive rounds and fusion explosive, both level three. We'll take those. All right, let's get back in the Mako before the hazard gets too Waiting intense. So yeah, this is what they did with um, Andromeda. This is where they they took those hazards on those planets from the original Mass Effect. I I didn't find that enjoyable at all. It's like, you know, I don't know. But I, I will talk more about uh, Andromeda in subsequent um, episodes, but I do have a Let's Play for Andromeda. The link is uh, in the description if you'd like to check that out. Uh, what am I looking for here? The map. Um, I don't know. Are we ready for this stronghold? I think we might be able to get through here. I think it looks like there's an opening here. We'll try it. But, yeah, I mean, just, just a little bit more on Andromeda. I mean, I thought that the, um... The hazards were just too much. They were too intense. You really couldn't enjoy the... Ex I couldn't. I'll speak for myself. I couldn't enjoy the exploration of those planets because... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> We've got trouble. Because you just couldn't be outdoors and, you know, explore. You couldn't really be an explorer. Oh, hell, what is this? 
right. Everybody? Seems like there's somebody else out here still. Several somebodies. So yeah, we're gonna continue our killing in the Mako so that we get double experience. Oh, this guy back here. Let's get out. We'll kill him. Where is he? Help! Oh! Why did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> 